Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome back to the Sunless Skies, more specifically, the Reach. For better or worse, we've returned to this place. Uh, well, we'll just leave those in there, I think. I should have a much easier time of getting supplies, but regardless. The reason we're here is because our soul is somewhat, uh, diminished in value. And so we have to go to Carillon, which I feel like we've been to far too many times, unfortunately. So, if you feel like skipping this, go ahead. We're just here to purify our souls through penance. Mitigated or, well, administered by the devils. Unfortunately, or fortunately. Curious that there is no seeming opposition to the devils, you know. No opposing force, as it were. Which is increasingly interesting, because did we see any in the Blue Kingdom? I think we saw a few devils mentioned. But, hmm. Curious, now that I think about it, that we did not see more. Huh. Oh. Oh dear. Apparently the scavenging took a little bit of a uh, processing time. A minor temporal glitch, if you will. Huh. Peculiar. But regardless, we move on. No. Oh, well, mm, that's a slight threat. Although... Ah... Uh, a nice and easy kill. Much appreciated. No? Oh. Thank you. Uh... Ministry secrets, if you don't mind. See what we find. Hmm? I do love me some ministry stamped secrets. Yes. Permits, rather. I may or may not have use for them in the future. They seem kind of useless within the Blue Kingdom, and that is where we will return to as soon as our soul is properly purified. But, uh, yeah, I didn't see much use for them within the Blue Kingdom at all. Perhaps humanity's, uh, authority within the skies is less than I thought, but... Still, we do have an embassy there, so that is quite impressive. Quite impressive indeed. Hmm. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out what role humanity has within the skies. Because I don't think that we are what is killing all the other stars. Clearly we use a resource of whatever force is responsible for that death. Well, hello, hello. Huh. That was odd. What was that about? Hmm. Huh. Okay, not gonna worry about it. But yeah, we know we used the unclear bomb to destroy the sun at Albion. But where did we get it exactly, I wonder? Well, uh, unimportant right now, we have to worry more about just... Well, contemplate the statue, there's really nothing more we can do there. Let's see here, it's been so long. Report, report, of course. Naturally. To the presiding deviless? No, 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 no. Although, hmm. Hmm, I say. There are possibilities here. Return to the center of Carillon, though. We are here to fix the flaws in our soul, which, unfortunately, means, well, grinding. Quite a bit, in fact. I believe, anyway. I could be wrong. But I think this is the right thing to do. Let's see. Visit the Bell Garden. Am I wrong in thinking that we can purify our soul here? Ah, uh, there it is. But any penance will do, you say. Or imply. 
Hmm. Oh, well, unfortunately that we failed there. But yes, unfortunately this is just going to be grinding for a moment. Which admittedly does give me time to think. Curing our fermented soul. Perhaps you have eaten that which you should not. Perhaps you've come in contact with something unclean. I believe that is what we did. At any rate, your soul has gone a bit off. Now it's flat and clear. There are, of course, still a number of other things wrong with your soul, at least as far as the devils are concerned. But interestingly, oh, the devils of Carillon claim to be experts in the assignment, assessment rather, and improvement of the soul. They would describe yours as tantalizingly opaque and rich with personality. Gain two visions of the heaven, you say? Yes, yes, down the stairs again. Uh, visit the Gaslight Terrace. I believe this is what I'm looking for now. Oh, and we already have enough penance, so why wouldn't I? Cure your lightless soul. Perhaps you've fallen into habits. Perhaps you haven't stretched your imagination lately. Yes, yes, I know there's a few other things. Wrong with it. Although I see... Hmm, this is the same. Hmm. Okay. I mean, honestly, we've gone through these so many times, I don't feel the need to read it all. But... There could be an argument for something I might be missing. Have we considered the rub rubbery man at all? No, we have not. Consider them. He stands at the edge of the board, ignored by the players. Speak with the rubbery man. He stands off to one side, tentacles squirming. He's surprised that you approach him. He moves to make room for you, but in case you are merely trying to occupy his space. When you speak to him, he offers you a squishy handshake. By various signals, gestures, and directions of his eyes, he indicates he has come here looking for his place in the world. Hmm. A shift of perspective five. Redemption of a rubbery man. Conversion requires a change of understanding. An alteration of state, both sudden and permanent. Or elevation of a rubbery man. What would such a person need? Perhaps understanding cut with ambition. I can make that happen pretty easily. Leave him alone for now. Uh, we'll get him a shift of perspective. Just takes a little bit of work. Those who name drop, who aim too high, who spend too much time in low company, who do not know their place, they wind up here. All you have to do is wait. The White King masqueraded as a survivor of the fourth city. For the penitent's own good, he is being told glamorous stories of parties, but never invited to them. The supervising devil is distracted by the play on the chessboard, as for your punishment, it does not bear speaking of. The experience leaves your throat parched. But now... We can elevate the robbery man. What would such a person need? Perhaps understanding cut with ambition? Transferred. Enlightenment for a start, conversion for a chaser. He consumes both. Tentacles are involved in the twitching of excessively mobile... Would one call those lips? But then, what a transformation. His features smooth and flattened. His tentacles retract from a distance one might take him for a human gentleman with an especially prominent bow, brow. My apologies. He assesses you, then, no thanks, no comment, not even the wave of a tentacle, what an ingrate. He takes up someone's freshly discarded crozier. As a bishop, he joins the game in play. Hmm. Very well. Unfortunately, my soul is not curdled. It's the one thing I didn't do to my soul. Oddly enough. Ah, uh, let's see. Was that the gaslight terrace we were at? No, 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 no. Certainly not, I don't think. Perhaps it was. Hmm. I don't have to deal with lightlessness. No, no, no. And we already did the bell garden. The checkerboard places where we were. Ah, uh, yes, okay. The stunted grove, then. No real gate, but not much of a wall. If there's only a low stone barrier, perhaps a foot tall, easy to step over. And now I just need one more of these. I really prepared myself pretty well for this. The thorn bushes grow thorn... And <laughs> the thorn bushes grow thorns, an inch or more long, rather. There are paths between them, but it is hard to pass by without tearing one's clothes. The devils who work here have scratches on their forearms, though they do not seem to mind. There's not a single comfortable place to sit. Well, we can solve this. The punishments here are particularly physical in nature. A lady neither weeps nor feels regret. As punishment, she is bound face down to a huge block of ice. The supervising deviless makes notes. Now cure this cold soul of mine, although I suspect I'll need a different sort of, uh, treatment. Indifference to love can be corrected, but not easily. 
Feeling creeps back slowly at first. There's so few flaws in your soul, but matters are improving. Soon it will be perfect. Which actually has some uses outside of where we're going in the Blue Kingdom, but, well. We shall see. Visit the Garden of Insatiable Roses. Only penitents with stained souls may visit the Garden of Insatiable Roses. Uh, well, fortunately for me, I have such a soul. The path runs around the side of Carillon to an area that cannot be seen at all from the center. It's a narrow and unassuming path, almost overgrown, and the ground underfoot is soft earth. Uh, explore the undergrowth as you go? Perhaps I should have identified the scent, but regardless... You lift aside a canopy of leaves alongside the path. Underneath, white maggots are eating a sigil of warding into a fallen peach. I... Hmm. I see. I need ten of these. Oh. By the fence, there's a composting pile. Thousands of worms are reducing to mulch a heap of unacceptable book matter. Most of the books were confiscated from penitents. Now and then, the compost catches fire and a supervising devil has to put it out. Well, this fertilizer explains the aggression of the plants that grow here. Ah, uh, that is problematic. She is participating in a picnic, though. Approach this hellish penitent. At the center of the garden is a picnic banquet. There is too much frosting on all the cakes, too much oil in the salads, but several of the pen penitents sit glumly eating, with only their own clothes for napkins. The deviless sits among them, eating treacle from a jar. Ask what she's doing here. She's paying a price on her own behalf. Supposedly, says the devilist between bites, the souls of devils are incapable of being refined. You make some adjustments, improve here and there, and then death or two later and all the work is gone. But I'm determined. If humans can be approved, so can I. Oh. Interesting. Escapable truths would be useful. Hmm. Interesting. A serving of endurance. I think that would be more the sort of thing I would want to get her. And so, why wouldn't I? Gain a penance of excess, though. We need that first. In fact, we need much of it. Although, hold on. I have four of this, I think. Hmm. It's just any kind of penance, yes? Return to the center of Carillon first. We have tests to perform. Yes, yes, we're all purified here. Visit the Bell Garden? I believe you were mirrors. No, you are hearts. Okay, I need something that's mirrors, something not hearts. There you are. Perfect. So we're just going to grind this for a moment. Now, having done that... And gotten up to, I think it was 11 is what we ended up with. Um, Penance Endurance can be gained here, though. Hmm. I mean, we could do this, too. But, well. Yes, because if I cure my flaw, I won't be able to get back to there. So, yes, visit the Sand Garden first. It descends into a tunnel. Carved over the mouth of the tunnel are symbols of death. A skull, a flail, a fly on its back. You will not be deterred. And there is cold, the sand crunches underfoot. Not by fear, not by cold, not by hesitation or anxiety. You have chosen a way forward, that is all. In the pure blackness, you walk into a column of stone, no more than a column, a divide, where the path goes left and right. Ah, I missed that comma. You'll have to choose a way without reason. There is nothing here to determine which is best. And so you just push forward. And yes, I can use any of these. Okay. Huh. Approach the penitent ape first. What's it doing here? Hmm. Inescapable truths. Or excess. Interesting. He's collected human souls, and now he is here to cultivate them. Leave him alone for now. Hmm. How much... My terror isn't that bad. The devils call this place a garden in jest. It is barren sand under the rest of Carillon, not served by any sunlight. The sand is coarse and itchy, the air dry and over hot. One feels hungry, thirsty, even a bit faint, just standing here. 
The pendants here are mostly fierce, burly types, some of them scarred. One or two look as though they rightfully should be dead. How long can you last at this? A general grinned upon receiving a sentence of death the devils disapprove. To repair these defects, he is reading through a manual illustrating the decay of bodies. As for your punishment, still doesn't bear speaking of, we're going to try to get five of these. It's going to be a little bit rough, but we'll see. If success ends up working, actually, we're going to try to get six of these. We're going to try very hard. And failing this, of course, I can always come back later. Uh, we might have a maintenance task to do, though. Just cure ourselves of the matter of our, well, everything about us, unfortunately. Our terror and I don't think we can get rid of the nightmares just yet, but maybe. Ah, but that'll do. Six penances of endurance. Return to the center of Carillon. That is enough for here, because that gives us enough to go right over here. And read the footprints who's come here before you. The footprints of men and women and devils and goats are printed in the soil. Why goats? And there, unspoiled by the other tracks, a highly arched footprint with three toes. How often asleep have you remembered this creature, and how often have you forgotten it waking up? Worrisome. Uh, uh. Approach first the hellish penitent. She is participating in a picnic. Not for a serving of endurance. If the devilist has trouble remaining the same for long, perhaps this is the cure. A hard penance. That makes me feel old just looking at it, she says, prodding what you offer with one fingertip. How long did you hang around to get this? The desiccated penance rolls lopsided across the table. But when she stops jesting long enough to try it, what a change? Her color changes, her eyes darken from yellow to amber, and then almost to brown. Will the change last, she demands. Can my soul truly be refined now? Across the table, one of the other penitents mutters. Some learn to stop asking questions you don't want answers to, but the deviless is happy. Hmm. And that is enough for me. Now, the matter of how many of these we can get, it's going to be a lot rougher, but we shall see. Spy brought lamps into the dark places at the nadir of the earth. As punishment, he's grudgingly eating through 115 almond cakes. Yeah, I'm even less likely to succeed here. The one success we did have was quite unlikely. And frankly, this is not what we are here for. I will allow you to get up to... 65. And that shall be my limit. Hmm. Very well. Enough of this. Cure the Stained Soul, which means we won't be able to come back here, won't be able to finish this, but honestly, I'm not really here for Carillon, if we're being frank. Not to mention, I also don't have the abilities needed to really do anything there, so it doesn't really matter. I'm numb. I feel nothing. All the ordinary sensations left you long ago. In time, the tunnel narrows into the walls, brush your shoulders, and you're squeezing through a way that does not want to welcome you. Well, unfortunately, that's too bad for it. Disregard of death is a serious flaw. It displeases the Blue Kingdom. It makes the devils tut. And that can be solved. Your soul is pristine as a newborn baby's. Delightful. Return to the center of Carillon. And real quick, let's look at, I believe it's in our journal. No. A profile, perhaps? Yes, full of penances and no flaws. Hmm. I wonder. We have five of these. Uh, shift of perspective? Are we missing that? We are. Hmm. And penance deprivation? No, we have that. Enlightenment, we definitely have. And it's ordeal, we have. Inescapable truth, but that requires a flickering soul, which unfortunately we never had, so. Nothing for us there, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depends on your perspective, I suppose. Onward, we really must be getting to 
Magdalene's as soon as possible. Although, a trip to Titania wouldn't be the worst of things. But Magdalene's is what we need right now to deal with the fact that we are terrified. Through, uh, uh well, almost entirely fault of my own. I had ambitions and unfortunately didn't see them through, so. Shame, but, oh well. We endure. More importantly, all our soul flaws are done with. We can go back, in theory, to, well, could go back to the Eleutheria, but we will be going back to the Blue Kingdom. Yes, yes, it's terrifying and cold here, I understand. Oh, more resources. Ah, but it's not worth it. Oh, but it might be, but it's not, really. I'm finding combat is almost never worth it, in fact. Hmm. hmm. Oh, Port Avon's nearby. We can get a port report real quick. Of course, this is how I get into trouble, right? I'm like, yeah, we can just get a quick port report. We can... I hear the sounds of a... Ah, and see the sights of one of you fungal creatures. Uh, colonized cantankery, which we don't need to deal with. Especially if I do something like that. Oh, there goes that one. Alright. No, no, no. Ah. Bother. Uh, this is just annoying, is what this is. Hmm. There we are. Much better. Destroy the remains, perhaps, but no. Let's see what precious stones we find. Mere 98 sovereigns, not really worth it. And what about this Kentangria? Yeah? Oh, sure. Hmm. Oh dear. His last sound is a prolonged grunt, like a heavy snore on the brink of waking. A crewman tells a tale of his prior commission. I served on the Nibelung, a mining engine out of Lustrum. We were cracking sky rocks, digging out hours, but the seventh rock didn't hold hours. Hell, one of those indicates the cantankery. Devil battered halfway through the hole before we got away. Hmm. Interesting little sky story. And I see that something delectable up there, but first, first, let's go to Port Avon, return to New Winchester. Ah, well. Endure this lean, cruel hour, if you can. Questions worry at you, chasing away sleep. Later there's a knock at your door. One of your offers out is outside. Professor, we need you. Duty calls, the doubts must wait. <sighs> Deary, dear me. Onward. To Port Avon to get our port report, and perhaps a little bit of rest. We shall see. Hmm, quite dead Port Avon. Oh, cheap fuel is always lovely. Uh, ran a cricket though. There we go. Took care of most of our terror, which is the current priority. Oh yes, present the reclusive carpenter with his materials. It's what he said he needed to fix the magician's equipment. It's been so long. Might as well. The reclusive carpenter bids you deliver the materials outside his workshop and return in two days. After the time has passed, just outside your locomotive, you find the magician's equipment boxed and ready for transport. The carpenter is nowhere to be seen. Unfortunate, but not really our concern. Write a port report, if you will. Hmm. Hmm. I don't believe it matters terribly. Now, if I recall correctly, they don't decrease my terror by enough for it to matter. Um, Palmer and Plenty's is a ways away, though, so... To, uh, our little port over this way. New Winchester and then Magdalene's and then... 
away, I suppose. I believe that is the best of plans. For now. Hmm. Perhaps not the most profitable, but it is a plan that gets us back on our feet into the Blue Kingdom as soon as possible. Which, frankly, is the goal. We're not trying to be efficient here, we're trying to be quick. Which, of course, has its own set of costs. Uh, hmm. Yeah, our fuel and supplies should hold out for this. Now, just a brief little stop. Which reminds me, I didn't take on any other work. Yes, good. Although... Hmm. That little bit of greed is... Getting to me. Whispering, hey, you can take a job, right? It's just a quick little job. Ah, oh, the reach is... Unfortunately, very profitable. Well, uh, I suppose... I say it's very profitable. It's fairly profitable. And secure. I think I can actually make more money out of Eleutheria. In theory, but... In practice... Safety is appreciated. And Albion has its own charms, but, well, neither here nor there, uh, of course. What do you have, by the way? Souls for Port Prosper? Nah. Seeds for Port Avon? Nah. Uh, let's see here. Undock. Because apparently I didn't wait long enough for our terror to reset, but where it goes. To Magdalene's, then to deal with our terror, and then to... Well, return to the Blue Kingdom. A little bit more refined and more perfected. Deliver our reports. Yes, a little bit more money, I appreciate that. You know, another otherworldly artifact would be kind of nice. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Pity it didn't reset our terror, but well. As long as the timer for that doesn't reset, I'm kind of okay with it. Because we can just, well, actually it might be quicker to just go to Magdalene's and then direct through the gate, yes? I mean, we lose a hundred sovereigns for the deal, but that's eh, not that big a deal, really. 100 sovereigns here and there is not that enormous, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, you sell both fuel and supplies, yes? Perfect. Perfect. I can fill up there, which will be a little bit more expensive, but... Hmm. It's one of those matters of how big a priority is getting this done quickly, Versus getting this done safely. Hum, 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 hum. Well, I tell you what, I can do that between. Right, I can just get to Magdalene's, fix our little terror situation, then, yeah, call it a day. And make decisions later. No? Oh no, I'm going quite the wrong way. Gotta go up, not around. Hmm. There was a noise there I didn't like. That squeaking noise. Worrisome. Um, no. But yes. Ah? Uh -huh. Ooh, what do we have? How pleasingly this thing rattles. Two jumbles of souls. Possibly useful in the Blue Kingdom. Possibly not. We will find a use for them, one way or another. Either for barter or for sale. Hmm? I wonder. It's not something I paid attention to while we were in the Blue Kingdom. But I'm wondering if the music there was different, because this feels like a song I hadn't heard there. 
It's very curious, yes? It makes sense, I suppose. Oh, bother. Just... Here, have some extra brandy. Bunch of drunkards. Yeah. We'll have this all dealt with in a moment. Now... Well, we could... Let's see what the price is there on treating our nightmares. Two moments of inspiration, yes. Hmm. The keepsake market, though? Oh. Ah. While away the time with the other captains. I'll take that for free. Much appreciated. Let's see here. Oh? Request a treatment for guilt. You are not sinless. Hmm. The attendant nods solemnly. Congratulations, you're the last entry in the journal. He makes a note in the large red leather bound book. Today's journal, at any rate. The attendant holds up a candle before four doors of mirrored glass. Four of our staff are available today. Each has their own specialty. Their names are not yours to know, only their craft. He smiles suddenly, his teeth gleaming like links on a chain. You know yourself best. Who can tend your wounded heart? Whoever you need, you can find behind one of these doors. Hmm. Someone from your past. Their face lingers in the fog of memory. Hmm. Your old rival is sat at your desk, in the study you rented together. His hands dip, drip with ink and candle wax. I thought I might have a rematch. You didn't look like you've been keeping up with your studies, I must say. Indicates two pieces of paper, pen, and an hourglass. Remember, no textbooks. The hourglass turns. Hmm. Oh my, that did quite a bit for it. One more time. And I wonder... Will it be the same? No, the same. Pity, in a way. But... That is all for the moment. Our soul is purified and we are ready to go back to the Blue Kingdom. In fact, I do think I will be going there directly, myself. But, for now, thank you all for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below using... Uh, use them responsibly and I shall see you soon. Ah, nearly forgot. Starving and out of fuel. That could have been quite the problematic decision I just made. That's why I wanted to go back to New Winchester. I see, I see, I see. Eh, matters for the future. Take care.